Hello kid. Well, today I will be taking you to a garden. Have you visited a garden or a park before? I am sure you have. And I am sure you have loved it as well. Right? Because when you go in the garden or park, you can see different type of plants. Right? And they are very very beautiful. So, out of them, some will be big like this big tree. Some will be small like this. They are small and they are near to the ground. Some of them might be living on the land. See, this tree is standing on the land. While some may be on water like this beautiful thing which is on the surface of water. Even I am sure you must have met your plant friends in your home as well, right? When your mom keeps it for decoration, either in the balcony or near the window, well, they look very, very beautiful, right? Have you ever tried to know these plant friends? What are their names? How do they look like? Why do they look like? Did you ever try to find out? No? Well, what do you do when some new people come to stay near your house? Well, you go over there, you want to know them, you learn their names, how they are, how do they speak, right? Similarly, when some kids come into your class, you want to make all new friends, right? So, you go and meet them up. Similarly, you should also be curious to know your plant friends. First, we have the grass. See, these are the tiny plants which you will find in the park. I am sure you would love to go and run on it barefooted, right? Don't you feel while you run on them, the sweet little plants tickle under your feet. So, you feel great while you go to the park and meet the plant friend grass. But all plants are not like grass. See, this is a big plant which you can easily see in a temple. Well, have you seen this before? A lady worshipping a tree? This is very very common in India. So, I am talking of a big tree which looks like a grandfather. But do you know its name? No? Let me tell you. Well, its name is Banyan. So, this tree is a banyan tree. You know another special thing about this plant friend? Well, it helps us in swinging. Even you will see many people even in villages love to ride on the swings which are attached to this tree. And don't worry, it is very very strong. So, it will never let you fall. So, this is the second plant friend the banyan tree. Now, let me take you to our homes, the common Indian homes. Well, over there you will find this plant friend. His name is Pesan or Tulsi. Well, just like its name is, it is considered to be very very pure. So, it is also used while worshipping God. Not only that, you will be surprised to know that these leaves have medicinal properties. So, when you are sick, like you are having cough, cold or sore throat, they will help you to feel better. They will cure you. So, this is our third plant friend known as basil or tulsi. So, till now you saw all the plants that we met were green in color. So, let's meet some of the colorful plant friends now. Ready? Let's go. So, the first colorful plant friend that I have for you is the beautiful rose. I'm sure when you get a rose in your hand, so you become happy, right? Because it looks so very beautiful. Even we love to look at the different colored roses in the garden. We keep it in the vase and we make our homes beautiful. So, 
This is our first colorful plant friend named rose. Following rose, we have the beautiful marigold. Well, I am sure you have seen this plant and these flowers in your garden as well. You know what? From where does this name marigold has come? Well, this name has come after mother Mary and this flower is very very strong. I am sure you have seen that this flower is used for worshipping God. Even when you have gone to festivals and also weddings, you have seen this flower used for decoration. So, this is our plant friend, Marigold. Now, I will tell you about a happy flower and its name is Sunflower. What happens when you are sad and somebody gives you a bouquet of sunflower? You are all smiling, right? This flower is known as happy flower because whenever anyone sees it, he or she becomes happy. Not only that, if you see its beautiful petals, they are known as rays. And it looks also like a sun, isn't it? See, it has a speciality which other flowers don't have. You will always find a sunflower facing the sun. See, a sunflower is facing the sun. Not only for its beauty, sunflower is also popular for another thing. Do you know what? Well, it is for the sunflower oil. So, this oil is used by us for cooking. So, this is our friend sunflower. And how to remember it? Sunflower is the happy flower. After the happy flower, we have a bright red flower with five petals. And it blooms all the year round. Its name is China Rose or Hibiscus. Well, I am sure you have seen that this flower is used for worshipping the Hindu goddess Kali. And this flower is considered to be very very pure. Other than for worshipping, if you see it is used for making tea which has medicinal properties and also oil. This oil is used for hair and skin problems. So, this is our beautiful plant flower named Hibiscus. Now, till now you must have seen that I have spoken about all of our plant friends which stay on land. Next, let's go near a pond and meet another plant friend named Lotus. See, this is the beautiful flower Lotus. Do you know? This is the national flower of our country, India. This flower is also known for its purity and this is also used for worshipping God. Now not only lotus, we have another plant friend named water lily. This also grows in water. I have a question for you. Which of the following is the tiniest? Is it option 1? Banyan, option 2, rose or option 3, grass. Confused? Can't remember? Let me tell you. Well, 
Just now we have seen that banyan is a huge tree. So, this is definitely not the tiniest plant. Then we saw rose. Rose is a beautiful flower plant but not the tiniest. So, which is the tiniest plant that we saw in the park? Well, it is the grass. So, the correct answer is grass and it looks like a beautiful green carpet in the park. So, as I told you that we love to make new friends, right? Here are some of the plant friends that we came to know but you will be surprised to know that there are many other plant friends in the world. So, whenever you see a new plant, make sure you try to do friendship with it. Learn about it, know its name, see how it looks and finally your number of best friends will increase. So, plants are our best friends.